Hello guys, I just wanted to give you a quick introduction into the video and I want to mention that yes, I do a little bit of unboxing in the beginning of the video, but if you're wanting to see everything related to the PC connectivity and everything that has to do with this Rift Master for the PlayStation 5 and PS4, you can go ahead and skip all the way to 529 on the video if you want to go ahead and just look at the PC stuff where I configure it with Clone Hero and RPC S3. And before I don't even think the other ones had USB-C, they only had batteries. Um, and this one is completely rechargeable. While, while many people say that this might not be the best guitar, I feel like it is the best that you can purchase in the market at the moment. So we're going to go ahead and check it out. Alright, so I went ahead and took the liberty of taking off the tape. And one of the things that I am excited for this is that... I want to see how it works on PC because on PC it's supposed to have like it's supposed to have um, an adapter or a dongle that you can try it out. Many people were saying that the PlayStation 1 doesn't work. I'm going to see the theory if we can actually make it work on PC. So, yeah. All right, it's kind of hard to record while I unbox it, but let's I'm taking it out of the box right now and this is an exclusive offer to get 20% off I'm probably not gonna be using that but but if you want to get PDP devices you can go ahead and use that QR code and as you guys can see I like how they made it compact where it's really easy to take out it is foldable and you get the strap as well which is cool and here's the dongle that you connect to your PlayStation 5 or PlayStation 4 I believe the Xbox one will bring one as well I'm not 100% sure I think the Xbox actually will recognize it when like when you sync your controllers I know that in previous Guitar Hero ones they would and I also like that it brings a USB-C cable so they did not at least cheap out on the USB-C cable it is included and here is that final part as well so yeah it looks pretty cool but yeah what i'm more excited for is to try it out on pc so overall i do like the way it looks in terms of style it does look kind of simple i kind of do miss the fenders or the gibson one or even the one from war tour um, and it actually looks smaller than I used to actually play these guitars, but it is pretty big, but it does feel kind of small. I don't really like the finish on this. It's kind of plasticky, and if you can see close, there's actually scratches, and it gets really dusty quick. Not that it's a big deal, but um, this will definitely get scratched up if you don't take good care of it. However, you can customize it and put stickers uh, however you want. Um, as you guys can see, I think this is the power button. I'm not sure. It's one of these two. Um, so I guess the power button is not there. That is something that is lacking in my opinion. Or it might be this little small one. I kind of prefer uh, how it used to be different with a bigger power button. And this is the PlayStation button. And it has a D-pad. And then it has P1 and some other buttons as well. Uh, as you guys can see. Now the strum it doesn't really make that much noise i think it was designed not to make too much noise and then um we also have the stuff in the back as you guys can see it looks pretty basic and this is like the lock if you ever want to fold it um so you can just switch it and it also has another joystick here which i would assume you can use to navigate the menus on the playstation as well so it looks pretty decent for the most part um and the buttons do feel good i do like the fact that they made this matte finish i think previous ones did have it as matte but i think some of the rock band guitars had it where it was kind of like slippery with a plastic feel but matte is better it just helps you um hit the buttons better um and it also has the usb c here as well as you guys can see that little usb c so that's where you can connect it to the playstation 4 or playstation 5 as well with the switch there if you guys can see there's a switch for um playstation 4 and ps5 so that's actually pretty cool but the usb c is really important as well 
um i think this is what's gonna make it more modern in terms of other guitars that are, have been out for a while is that usb-c and it also has a rechargeable which you no longer have to actually buy batteries like in the previous guitars in the past that you had to buy batteries so for the next step i'm going to go ahead and test it out on the pc to see if it will actually work and i'll be able to register it to my computer to see if it's able to play games on there all right so i went ahead and connected the pdp riffmaster guitar for the playstation 5 onto my pc or computer windows whatever you have and to my surprise it actually does detect it as a native controller um, it even shows the game controller section on here and it looks like it's working so it should indeed work for clone hero I would assume so we're going to go ahead and download clone hero and test it out and see if it actually works for clone hero but this is actually pretty exciting because many people were wondering will this work on PC um, due to it being a PlayStation 5 one some people were even debating that the Xbox version of this guitar was the only one that was going to work for PC and that it was only going to be native for PC since Xbox is a little bit more compatible with PC stuff um, and sometimes I'm even hearing that you had to buy a separate dongle for the Xbox version I'm not 100% sure uh, but that's what I've been hearing from a lot of people that you had to buy a, a separate dongle but I, I would always assume that it would work via Bluetooth or uh, the dongle that's included but it might be possible that a dongle is already included on the Xbox one I would have to look it up later but anyways let's go ahead and try a clone hero to see if it actually works sorry guys I had to mute this part of the video because it got a copyright detection with the song in the background in clone hero I didn't think it was going to get a copyright detection um, but anyways basically what I did in this part of the video was I set up Clone Hero, I launched it up, and as you guys may know, Clone Hero is pretty easy to set up the buttons and program every button. And, it, and to my surprise, it does indeed detect Clone Hero, um, does indeed detect the Riffmaster PS5 version as well from PDP. So the drivers do work, the ones that come pre-installed with it. So one thing that was an issue, however, and I'll probably repeat myself later on in the video. I'm sorry if I bore you guys if I repeated this later on in the video because I had to edit it out. Um, basically, the issue it has is with the whammy bar. Now, the whammy bar is actually a really big issue because it will not let you use it at all. It will not let you program it. No matter what I do with it, it will not let me program the whammy bar. And it, honestly, it is kind of a bummer because it w doesn't work with the whammy bar. Now, I was Googling and researching a lot on the internet about the whammy bar issue. And many people stated that basically, um, even the previous Rock Band guitars that were launched from the PlayStation 4. And maybe even the previous ones, if you're trying to use it on PC. Uh, they all for some reason do not work with the whammy bar uh, people have tried with the ps4 version And it just doesn't work with the whammy bar. It won't detect it for some reason I would say that it's probably a driver issue and PDP did not fix this driver issue for this guitar that released So the, I think that is definitely going to be a major decision in people who buy this guitar because of the issue with the whammy bar I have tried out guitar hero um, guitars official from Guitar Hero that have the dongle and surprisingly they actually do work because the other day I was playing Guitar Hero Live and it's whammy bar did indeed was detected onto the PC however for this one as googling through reddit people said they have came up with solutions but they have to do like several different steps and modifications uh, where they had to connect Adreno um, so if I repeat myself later in the video, I'm so sorry, but I just had to mention this out because I had to edit everything out um, while I was actually recording the video. But yeah, that's um, one of the things it does detect it. Oh, and one last thing that I wanted to mention, the Xbox version might be a little bit different because I hear people are buying dongles, the official Xbox dongle on their PC. So that one might be a little bit different when it comes into the whammy bar working on PC. But I don't have an Xbox one to test out at the moment. So I am 100% not sure if it will work as well on Xbox. So that is a clue. If you have an Xbox one, leave a comment. 
and let me know if the whammy bar works on the xbox version with the xbox adapter to the pc um anyways uh, continue watching the video and enjoy it if i do repeat myself i'm sorry but <laughs> it's because i had to edit this part out All right, so overall I have the installation working pretty much at this point for the Riftmaster on PC. I'm using the PlayStation 5 version and it is working for what I can tell for the most part. Um, I haven't played Guitar Hero in a while, so it's been a it's going to be pretty difficult for me. I feel like the FPS on PC is way faster cuz everything runs more smoother. <laughs> Or it's just me that it's been a while since I've played this game. So don't judge me because I'm playing on easy mode. I muted the music because I didn't want to get a copyright strike. Depending if the songs in Clone Hero are copyrighted. Um, but anyways, it, it seems like it's working. Um, the button is pretty much mapped out pretty well. The only thing I couldn't figure out if I could actually map the whammy bar. That's the only thing that I wasn't able to map out. I don't know if it's because I'm doing something wrong, but I got to completely test out this guitar even on the PlayStation to see if it actually works as well. But it seems like it is working. The power button and everything is working. I just don't have everything mapped out correctly. But in terms just of getting to start and playing, um, it's working fine. I'm also going to run my backup of Rock Band for the PlayStation 3. And we're going to also test it out on the emulator to see how it works because I know a lot of people are also going to be using this on emulator. Believe it or not, the PlayStation 3 um, version is actually pretty legit as well. Um, and as you guys may know, um, this one isn't even supported with the PlayStation uh, 3. Uh, it's supported with the PlayStation 4 and the ps5 but it's not supported for the playstation 3 which is a disappointment because a lot of us have those older games and want to play older songs from rock band but yeah um i'm going to see if i can actually program the whammy bar um or maybe i'm doing something wrong in the settings in clone hero but maybe with the emulator i'll probably be able to play it on those but otherwise, it does work with PC. I don't understand why people were saying that the PlayStation 5 version work doesn't work on PC. But it's working for me. And I'm playing Clone Hero right now. And everything seems to be working. I may have been gotten it wrong that some people said it wasn't going to work. Um, and it detects the drivers pretty fine. Maybe they're not the best drivers. But I don't know. Correct me if I'm wrong in the comment section. Now, I also heard that the... Xbox needed an adapter, which I'll talk more about that later. Um, but yeah, let's go ahead and move on to the next. Hey, part what of is up, video. ladies and gentlemen? So I did test out that it does work with Clone Hero. Everything works fine, other than the whammy bar. The whammy bar, for some reason, does not work, and it does not detect it, even if you connect it onto the PC or anything with the dongle on the PlayStation 5 version. It just does not detect the whammy bar. I'm not 100% sure. If that's the case for the Xbox version of this guitar, it might be a little bit different. So it might work with the Xbox one, but I have not reported it because I do not have the Xbox one. So according to my research about the whammy bar issue, I have read online that this issue is an ongoing issue with previous Rock Band guitars that have came out for Rock Band 4, Rock Band 3. People who have used the dongle to play it on PC even with drivers installed or custom drivers installed, say they had that issue with the whammy bar. So the whammy bar just won't work on PC. For some reason, it just did not detect it. And I did research online, and a lot of people were saying that it's just not compatible. The drivers just don't have that functionality where the whammy bar is being detected. It does work on Rock Band 4 on my PlayStation 4 or PlayStation 5. If I'm playing it on the console, it does work. The whammy bar will work. However, it will not work on PC for some reason. So either PDP has to release a driver update for this guitar in order for it to make the whammy bar work on PC. Because, I mean, if they advertise it on PC, you got to have every single button working. Everything else works except the whammy bar. So I honestly, I hope that they do insist on making a whammy bar button for the 
PC driver update or something like a mini driver so everybody can use it and they install it onto their uh, PC that way they can play clone hero I don't know if they'll do it though we'll see if they ever do it or otherwise the community will have to come up with a resolution to make the whammy bar work for the PlayStation 5 rock band guitar um, or for Fortnite festival whatever you want to call it so I hope that does become something in the future but at the moment it does not work I heard that people have made it work but they had to do several different steps in order to make it work and I don't even think it's worth the hassle they had to connect like an Adreno device and do some configuration some crazy stuff in order to make that whammy bar actually work on PC so yeah I don't think it's gonna be worth my hassle but everything else works fine if you're just trying to play regular songs like that in my opinion it does suck that the whammy bar doesn't work you could always um go ahead and map it to a different button it does have a lot of buttons on it um, if you want to you can always go ahead and do that and be able to map it just so you can have the whammy effect but yeah that is kind of a big negative alright so as I promised I was going to do the configuration of it on the emulator for the PlayStation 3 so you can play Rock Band 1, Rock Band 2, Rock Band 3 uh, which is not available to be able to play on your PS3 you can't use this guitar to play on your PS3 believe it or not your PS3 won't be compatible with it um, only the PlayStation 4 and PlayStation 5 games uh, will be so for Guitar Hero or Rock Band or Guitar Hero kind of changed a little bit so it's a little bit different so the website that you're watching on the screen right now is supposedly configuring the instruments um, this is what the configuration is on PC so I don't really remember the rock band buttons but I think they're really similar to the Guitar Hero ones um, but yeah I think they are somewhat similar um, and as you guys can see they are pretty weird when it comes down to the configuration right here I might have to do a couple of changes to them because right here it says yellow fret and blue fret are this one so square is the, the yellow fret okay so yeah, hopefully I get it to work, but um, we'll see how we configure it. All right, so now we're on the emulator settings and we're gonna go to the pad section. You wanna go to the pad section and you're gonna wanna go ahead and switch it to um, MM joystick. That's the only one that you have to switch it to. Um, and you're gonna wanna go ahead and filter noise make sure to press filter noise because if you don't press filter noise you won't be able to map a single button onto it and I recommend leave it in guitar guitar hero or rock band it gives you two options I go for rock band because I think this guitar is more designed for rock band but it should be able to work for both um, consoles as well um, and if you want to go ahead and pause the video you can also take a reference to this on how I have it so if you guys want to pause the video if you're gonna configure it you can go ahead and pause the video here um, that way we can configure it now I may configure it wrong because it is kind of confusing it says the X button is the the cross button is the green fret so we're gonna go ahead and do that uh, hopefully I get it right as you guys can see right there you click on there and you should be able to put one and the red one is the circle button circle button and the square is the yellow or blue fret which is kind of weird I don't understand why it says blue frets so that's why I, I don't understand that and the triangle is the blue fret as well I don't remember how rock band is actually in the games to be honest it's been a while since I played it so if I did it wrong I'll probably have to do some reconfigurations and we'll go back to it I'll probably cut part of the video all right, so L1 is supposedly the orange red. I feel like I did something wrong, but um, we'll see. And then for the strum up is D-pad one up. Where's the D-pad? So you're gonna wanna put that up and D-pad down as well. And the right stick is for the whammy bar, which as you guys can see is the whammy bar would usually go with this one right here on the stick which is the right stick is the right the right stick and as you guys can see it's just not gonna detect it with the whammy bar that's the only issue I have with this um, so yeah that's really sucks that it does not work and then oh, let's see R1 is the guitar tilt where is R1 
I don't even know if the tilt is gonna actually work with this. <laughs> I have no clue. Um, but honestly, I wouldn't really use the tilt if you don't. If it's not necessary, just don't do it. Um, so I I don't remember if in the old Rock Band games you had to do the tilt or that was like your power. Um, solo modifier. But let's go ahead and we're gonna go ahead and put a different button here. We're gonna we're gonna go ahead and configure a different button for the tilt, so that way um, we don't have an issue. All right, so the solo modifier L two. Might need to play around with the configuration, like I stated. You definitely might have to actually. Play around it with the configuration a lot. Alright. Yeah, you're gonna have to play around with the configuration because it's a little bit confusing for the most part. Um that should be right for the yeah, I think that's it. And this is our piece RC our PCS threes settings where they recommend so we'll see if it works not 100 percent sure i don't remember the power button being on rock band i think it was just a tilt i don't know how to install the tilt but you know play around with the settings um let's go ahead and try rock band next player tw uh, button 12 of player one was assigned at least twice oh wait all right, you also want to do your start and select, actually. I forgot to mention that. So I'm going to go ahead and, and put my select. I think the select button was the power that it used to give you. Start button. Yeah, it's kind of weird, but you get the idea. Where's button 12? R12. r3 i'm just gonna leave it like that yes i think it should be an issue all right all right so i'm booted into the game and i think everything should be set and proper as you guys may notice i did program everything and it's working pretty fine um it tells you how to navigate and everything if you want to calibrate um so yeah it's working completely fine let's go ahead and go into quit play I'm not going to be playing a song with uh, the music because, honestly, I don't want to get copyrighted. Um, but everything works pretty fine. For the most part, I think it works fine. So let's go ahead and test it out and see if it's running well. As you guys can see, it does seem like it runs really well. Okay, so... So the yellow and the blue one, I got it mixed up together. Um, but I got the orange one right. But as you guys can see, it is working for the most part um, in terms of configuration. But I think I got to switch that yellow. Okay, so I'm probably in easy mode because I'm not playing hard mode right now. But as you guys can see, it is working. All right, let me go ahead and switch the settings real quick. That way, um, all right. So I fixed the button layout a little bit. Um, as you guys may notice before, um, button four actually goes with the triangle, and button one goes with the square. So just make sure to play around with the settings in order to get your right layouts. I managed to actually fix it, so now it, we should have a smooth experience when it comes to the button layouts. But yeah, we're gonna go ahead and click save. Um, and then we're going to go ahead and start our game again. And we're going to test it out to see if everything is running perfect. So yeah, <laughs> sorry about that. Um, pause that video on that part if you want to get the proper configuration. Um, the configuration part is your <laughs> responsibility. All right, so we're going to try this song and we're going to try to get the power up. I don't think the tilt is going to work, but there might be tilt working otherwise you can just make it into a button kind of like the power button you 
You may want to configure the lag too, depending, but overall it's working pretty fine for me. I know I'm playing in new mode. I haven't played in a while because I'm doing the video. Yeah, the tilt, I can't get it to work, but let's see. I did configure a button to it, um, and the power is there. So that's good. The only thing is, we're not going to be able to get the whammy bar to work. As I said, that's the only issue that it's currently having. But hey, it's working. So if you want to play Clone Hero and you want to play emulators, it works perfectly fine. Um, We just really need to get that whammy bar to work in the future. But yeah, everything is working fine, guys. Alright guys, so pretty much this video wasn't really a review. I just wanted to demonstrate it working on PC. And from my findings, everything on PC seems to work fine with the dongle that is provided with the guitar. The only issue is that you're going to have is the whammy bar. The whammy bar is the issue on these rock band guitars. Um, they just do not work for some reason. And I honestly, I don't know how... To configure it maybe I need to do a little bit more research but I think the whammy bar um, will not work because even reading online and different forms with previous rock band guitars many people are stating the same thing that the whammy bar just was never able to be working on PC unless they did some extreme modifications like adding Arduino boards to their PC in order to just get this whammy bar working um, I hope that they do release an update for it because if the PlayStation 5 recognizes the whammy bar, the PC should be able to as well as long as they make an official driver for a PC, which is not really available. It just detects it as a controller. Like, for example, if you have a controller, like any third-party controller, basically that's what this is detecting on PC. But they don't have an official driver where the whammy button, but the whammy button is not being detected so that is very weird indeed um and the weirdest thing about it is that i actually recently tried a guitar hero guitar um and the whammy bar is detected on pc for some reason uh so that's the, one of the big negatives in my opinion pdp should release an official driver for this to make it work properly for both the playstation 5 and the xbox one now, one thing that I will mention, I'm not 100% sure on the Xbox One uh, version. Not the Xbox One, but like the Xbox version. Uh, if the Xbox version, if the whammy bar works, I haven't tried it out because people. Uh, what I read online, people are buying a dongle, the official Xbox dongle, and they're connecting it onto their PC. So it might be a little bit different with that one because it's an official Xbox product and it probably will work with the whammy bar. On the Xbox version but this is for the PlayStation 5 because I have the PlayStation 5 I might get the Xbox one later but I haven't seen any other videos out there at the moment with people testing it out with the Xbox version on PC so if you're look like like I don't like to repeat myself but yeah the whammy bar is the thing that is currently not working um, other than that everything else seems to work fine I don't really see like a big lag in terms of like connectivity where I'm far away on PC but yeah it is compatible with PC they weren't lying when it said it on the box compatible with PC because it is compatible with PC it does work with PC um, but yeah it's not 100% complete I feel like they kind of half-assed it um, the only thing I probably needed to try out was Fortnite festival, but I didn't really want to try it out on PC because I mean, I don't really play Fortnite uh, I know a lot of people are wanting to get this because it's the new guitar and they haven't released these in years and they gone up in value by so much and Basically, it's good to have like a guitar backup that you can play um, guitar hero in the future again um also, one thing that I forgot to mention is the bot bottom buttons can be mapped out on the emulator as well. You can map out like two different buttons at the same time on the emulators. So I'm assuming in Clone Hero you can do something similar if you just want to use the bottom ones. You know, rock bands usually tended to have like the bottom ones and the up ones as well. So yeah, 
very interesting choice, but um, just wanted to showcase you guys uh, what um, if you can use it. Also, if you guys are interested in buying one of these, I will be leaving a link in the description where I got mine. It's pretty cheap. Uh, well, somewhat cheap. <laughs> it was a little b above MSRP, but it's still decent above MSRP that I could get it in order to purchase it. So thanks for watching this video, guys, and I hope you have a nice day.